Hi, my name is Caitlin Ledford. This is my solo show, Virtuous Virtuosity, over here at MNB Los Angeles. So the title is a play on words, like how the paintings are play on words, play on ideas. And it's also the idea of the perfect painter. So even another alliteration to even describe virtuous virtuosity. So virtuous is a, um, like a righteous person or something that's great and virtuosity is a skilled person. So thinking about the idea of the perfect painter then as these paintings are all centered around the idea of me in the studio and then also the thinking about the demographic that will look at my paintings and interact with me as the author. So that relationship between viewer and artist. So that's kind of where the title came from. So this is trashy. So again, with thinking about how my paintings are gonna interact with the viewers. I made these paintings thinking about either LA stereotypes or my own preconceived notions of who the LA demographic is since I was then referencing or thinking about how maybe they would view me as the artist. So for this, this is thinking about the trash and leaving behinds of a city or of a studio. So meshing those two together to kind of bring them into like one giant great trash pile. So that's why there's so many things like look like they're either messed up or maybe slightly destroyed, but they're kind of put together in a loving way. So they still look beautiful, try, trying to still show reverence to them. Because in this whole show, I really wanted it to be more of an endearing relationship between me and the viewer, exploring like different stereotypes or relationships between myself and the viewer, and then how they feel about me in the studio. So that's how Trashy came about. So even though I'm a Trump Lloyd junkie, I'm a DIY junkie and all kinds of painting junkie. I don't like to just stick with one way of painting, so I gotta keep myself stimulated. So we have airbrush that's happening on this TV and then some really chunky like molding paste moments with the fake gum. Um, and then this is actually from throwing paint at the canvas, filling up um, eggshells with paint and throwing it at it. So it's actually um, paint splatter, not trying to simulate it. We've got oil paint, that's the appropriation from one of the Dutch paintings. Really like chunky, crude representation of this banana. And then slow oil painting again for the curtain on the top. So really is everything. <laughs> For this, I figured if I'm going to simulate a neon sign, I need to also include a neon sign. And that's another thing or stereotype that I think of with LA is signs. So this painting is called Welcome with an exclamation point. So I like to think about it as the opener for the show, the thing to kind of greet you and take you around the whole show. Having these two palm trees, iconic LA palm trees, uh, one very Trump Loe painted exactly like a Mylar balloon but the one on the right that's more crudely painted, you can see the brush strokes, you kind of see the facade coming off of it. Having those two openers, kind of like arches, framing everything to see. And then these are actually my handprints, so making myself a part of that too then, to say like, I am a part of everything that's gonna be in here too with this welcome. So that's kind of how this came about. All of these works are probably the most sculpture I've included in paintings before. I've always included some kind of three-dimensional element that I finally felt the like urge and the need to include things that were really more coming off the canvas so that that illusion is pushed even more from the JPEG versus seeing it in real life. So for this one, using the iconic HB2 pencil that we've all used before as if it's stabbing the canvas. So maybe it's aggressive, maybe it's like a leavings behind of making a piece, thinking about that for those sculptural elements and the idea of, again, that when you see it in person, it's a completely different experience than seeing it online. Yes, yes, so Backs of Painting series started probably, what, two and a half years ago. It was during the pandemic, so obviously like everybody else, reevaluating everything and thinking about what it means to like have a trompe l'oeil image and in really becoming internal or internalizing most things, looking inward, pandemic, you don't have many outside sources at that point. So started thinking about the back of the canvas being this part of a very expensive thing, being the like left behind part or the thing that's not really shown as much, but yet it usually holds the signature of an artist. So really that's holding the most value would be the back of the canvas. 
and each one will be unique to itself, no matter like what work it is you're talking about in life. So that's where I started using the back of canvas, kind of show like that slight underbelly, which underbelly was the show or solo show title for my Hong Kong solo show at iShow Nanzuka. So that's where that came from. I mean, art is my life. I, everything's up for grabs. I make paintings about my life. The, like I like to show how the sausage, sausage gets made. I love to be able to talk to people about it. Like I do think about it like it is my job and I've separated for myself internally. Like my worth as a person is not based off of worth of art. So yes, it is my life, but I still try to struck, strike that balance between myself as a person and my art. But I very much love art. I love theory about art, theory about painting. I love seeing other people's paintings, making friends with artists. So. It's, it's a love and hate relationship always, like anything or any profession or anything else in life, but it's everything to me.